Hello and welcome to BJ Vlogs. Thank you for always being a part of this wonderful family. If today is your first time, you know what you do, okay? Please don't forget to subscribe. Um, I said, I'm bringing you a lot of scholarship, Charlie. You now you go ball. You know, there are still good scholarships in the system that you, you want to take up advantage of and then apply so that we all can, you know, uh, get to study and achieve the dreams that we want to achieve. So if, if you want to uh, apply for a scholarship, uh just go through the procedures uh if you don't want to go through an agent then i just as i recommend that if you have the time you can do it on your if you don't have the time you can consult an agent i'm not an agent but if you put your comments in the comment section i'll come to address them for you so the other time i brought you a video on flinders university in australia you realize that they have a different type of scholarship that i've done a video if you haven't checked the video yet please go and check it out because it might be your opportunity this is another scholarship in the same university that is australian government research training program scholarship for international students australian government research training program and so let's go through it you know what i mean okay so the scholarship generally they don't have a specific college that it covers and that's opened already and it's going to close on 4th august 2023 please don't slack don't wait till june july this is the time you want to apply now and so that is the money involved thirty three thousand canadian dollars charlie some good money in there and then uh three years with possible extension so there's the description for the scholarship but let's go to the actual benefits of the scholarship so that um things that they're they going to pay you a stipend at the standard reset by the australian government of twenty eight thousand eight hundred and fifty four. uh is it per annum yeah per annum yeah per annum tax free okay and so you want to take advantage of this and also um after arrival at flinders up to thousand hundred eighty four hundred eighty five to assist relocation you know so Charlie, it's, it's, it's good but now let's pause with the money and now come to the main deal okay so you should be a citizen of an overseas country except new zealand okay and then it is that uh, you intend to study a full-time program and you should also you know one thing that comes with scholarship and mostly what you want to study in australia is the fact that you should be research minded if you are not research minded please i don't think australia will be good for you we have to check the other countries but for this particular scholarship there is a research concentrated program so you have to show more abilities in this to be able to win the scholarship and this is the english proficiency level that we are talking like they want to, so we all would have to go through this and then you know the country we are applying from so we know the kind of scholarship uh, sorry english proficiency that they need from us okay and this is the selection criteria so it says that the selection of the award holders will be undertaken by the scholarship committee based on merit and research potential so when you are writing up your cv please make sure that you put in all the kind of research experiences that you have and uh, also yeah I think that that should be the main focus and if you have published a paper a, a papers or paper it will be another advantage because it's a research program so they would know your research abilities to the very core and it says that uh, the university will give priority to students undertaking a higher degree by research for the first time okay but one thing that i also want to tell you that if you don't have a paper don't be down like don't think that somebody might it's all about how you put up your 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 personal statements and those kind of stuff okay and that would also determine so don't be scared by word that somebody has um research whatever so incomplete applications will not be accepted yeah so this is the other scholarships that we i did for this university you can check it out but one important thing is that you have to you have to um get a supervisor so you want to use this link i'll put the link in the description box where you can find a supervisor potential supervisor who is interested in your area and want to formally agree and then supervise you and then the publication says that you must have an evidence that you have published so unfortunately this one 
it is a must that you should have a publication. Um, so you should have to add it and then you are saying that up to five of your publication. Wow. So it is not it, it is not so easy for us, but you have to try your best. You have to publish and uh, they're saying that do not provide more than five publications. Do not. So we want to select the top five papers that you think you are comfortable with and all that to apply. And then they're talking about additional publication may be noted on your CV or in a separate list. Your cover sheets are not required for publication listed on the CV, but not included among the top five. Is that? cover sheets are not required so um when you have more than five publications after taking out your first five to apply for this scholarship you also have to uh, add the rest in your cv and all that it says that um, so the languages publication in other languages will be accepted only if the nature of the publication for example is for a government agency and it takes other language yes so i think it is Mostly they are looking for ones that are published in English, but if it is for a government uh, published requirement or something that you did for a country, then it will be accepted if it's not even in English. Yeah. And you need your uh, transcript. You provide secondary school certificate here. Yeah. Uh, yes, they need your transcripts. And also they need your research proposal, not more than 500. Right? And then academic referees. And so you send it to this one and then your CV. Is that CV outline your work experience, your research experience, and full list of cited publications. And then the language formatting of your document. All document must be uploaded via the portal and should be in English. These are uh, very simple. So this is the application procedure. We use this link to actually apply for the scholarship. And then um, this is the link that we will use to apply for the scholarship. So don't think that if you apply here, so you don't want to apply here. Once you apply here, we apply also. Here and then I think um, the deadline is um, 4th August so that you can take up the scholarship in the subsequent months to come. So we just click here to start our application. Although it is kind of um, difficult, but I know you are up to the task. I know people who watch this channel are prepared already and so you want to take up this scholarship please don't forget to subscribe and put your comments in the comment section if you think you don't understand anything my email is always there and i'll put the various links in the description that you can check them directly for yourself or whatever you want to do thank you and see you winning this particular scholarship until then it is bye bye love you